Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use contacts as well as parameter drivers. So in this example, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make it so that when somebody with their head moves towards your avatar, your avatar will change its colors. Now, if you're interested in how to do a material swap, I've already made a video on that, so I will link that. Anyways, after you've completed that video, come back here and we will continue off from that point. So to get started, we are going to first go to our avatar and we are going to select on the main part here and we're gonna go over to this animator section. Now what we're gonna go do is in this controller section, we're going to add the Nova Beast FX layer here. Now we'll also need our animator window to be here. So to do this, go up to windows, now go down to animation and grab animation and animator. We'll need both of these. So animator will be this part here and then go back here, animation, and then we're going to drag this top part and snap it down here. So now we'll be able to do both these at once. So next, we're going to select our Nova Beast here. We're going to go to animation. We're going to click this drop down and we're going to hit create new clip. And I will show what we use this for later. But all we're going to do is we're going to create a clip and we're going to call it empty. And we're not going to put anything in here, hence the name. Now you can organize this and put this wherever you want, but just hold on to this and know where you locate this. Now. The next step will be going to our avatar itself and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the FX uh, or rather the parameters down here and then we are going to open up this parameter window and we're going to add a parameter and what we're going to do is we're going to call this proxy for proximity and we're going to make sure that it's a float and we're going to set the default to zero. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we select our Nova Beast and then we're going to head over back to this FX under playable layers, double click, and then it will open up this window here. Now we're gonna go over to parameters, we're gonna hit this plus button, we're gonna go to float, and now we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're going to call this proxy. And now this will be our proxy float. Now next, we are going to go up to our layers, we're gonna create a brand new layer, we're gonna call this proximity, and then we're gonna make sure that this layer is set to one weight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create three states here. So just like this. And now that we have these three states, we're going to link them by left clicking and right clicking to do make transition and then putting the last one to the exit state here. And then we're going to go to these little arrows, open up this window, and I'm going to click these and set these to zero so that the transition is instant. Now, after that is done, we're going to call this first state off or rather out of proxy. Then we're going to grab this state and we're going to call this state hold. And then lastly, we're going to go to this bottom one and then inside of proxy. Now, we're going to go to each of these motion fields and we're going to search for our empty. And we are going to just grab that one and put it in each of these. So just one by one, go through it. And if you already have an empty animation, you don't have to recreate it. You can just use the same one. And now that it is done, we're actually going to go and hit add behavior. And now in here, you'll see something called VRC avatar parameter driver. Now we're going to add that there and we're going to go to this bottom one. And we're also going to add the avatar parameter driver as well. Now with these two here, what we're going to do is we're going to press add and we're going to make it set and our destination will be our at our toggle or animation. So in this avatar in specific, that being the Nova beast, I have a animation over here called palette swap. Now when the bull palette swap is true, it will swap the color of the avatar. And then when it is false, it will swap it back. So, what I'm going to do is take note of this parameter here. I'm going to go back to my proxy layer and I'm going to make sure that I grab that one here. So right here, palette swap. And so for default, when we are not in proxy, we want it to be false. And now for our, when it's on, we're going to go back to the palette swap and we're going to make this true. So basically when anything comes into proxy, we're going to transition to inside of proxy, which will then turn our palette swap animation to the value of true, which will 
in correlation make this animation trigger which will make this one up here trigger now that after that is done we're going to work on the actual transitions so the first step here is under list empty we're going to hit plus and we're going to make proxy and when proxy is greater than 0 0.5 meaning when somebody is close enough you can adjust this number so if you want somebody right on top of you for this to trigger then put it to 0 0.9 if you want it just to be even like slightly close you can put it to 0 0.1 but a good middle ground will be 0 0.5 now after that is done i'm going to go back to this animation and then i'm going to do the exact same thing proxy greater than and then 0 0.5 and now for this last one here we're going to do the same thing except for proxy we're going to do less than and then 0 0.5 so basically when they are outside of the circle it will transition to the exit state which then will loop it back to here and go back to the out of proxy which will trigger this again now that we have everything here done and it has been set up here we're going to create the actual objects themselves so what i'm going to do is right click here and i'm going to hit create empty and then i'm going to call this one proxy and this will be the one that goes on our actual avatar and then i'm going to create another one over here for testing purposes and i'm just going to call this sender and this will be what sends our signal so what i'm going to do is hit the uh add component and then search contact up here and then right here vrc contact sender and i'm going to place that on our sender one and i'm going to quickly center this over here and i will move this over to the side and then we're going to add a collision tag. Now, if you want to do this where only certain people can interact with it, which you'll have to give them a custom code. So like something like swap here. So only a receiver with the term swap will be able to do this and only with the sender. But if you want it to be just anyone in the world, you can make it any one of these. Uh, in my opinion, head and torso seem to be the best since they are kind of centered. So for this example, I'm going to do torso. And now I'm going to go back to the proxy one. I'm going to hit add component and then we're going to do VRC contact receiver. So this means this will receive the signal and then I'm going to center this. And then I'm also going to put this into the middle chest of the avatar. Now, next is I want this, this little radius to be a bit bigger. So if you go to the radius here and drag it, you can make it a little bit bigger. And now basically, as soon as anyone enters kind of this area here on our avatar, basically the halfway mark, that's when our avatar will start the animation. And so what we're gonna do on collision tags, we're gonna hit add, and then we're gonna make it torso again. And then I'm gonna grab this proxy object and put it on my avatar so that it's actually a part of it. Now that that is done, we're gonna head over to the receiver type and we're gonna set it to on proximity. And then now is where we're gonna put our parameter, which was proxy from earlier. Now, if we go back to our animator, just to double check right there, proxy. Now, the last part of this will be the testing phase. So, I will go over to my tools, and I will grab the gesture emulator. I will hit enter play mode. I will wait for this to load up. And now, if I grab this sender object and move it towards my avatar, you'll see that it transforms. And then when it leaves that little circle, it will transform back. Now, this is a very fun thing. You can do many things with it. You can do it so that certain friends that are near you will play special animations. You can make it so that when anyone touches, say, your face or your nose, it'll cause an animation to happen. You can do all sorts of things. But this is basically the start of whatever you want to do with it. You can link this with any kind of animation and any kind of tool. Anyways, that has been my little tutorial here on proximity. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. And otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. That is Pinky, signing out. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is me thanking my Patreons for this month, that being Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino One, Emerald Null, Locke, Tef, Sir Fappingson, and the Maple Proto. I would also like to give a shout out to my YouTube members, those being Blue Nino One and Hydro19. What you guys do helps support me and create content, and I would like to say thank you for that. Uh, if you would like a little goob on my desk, uh, head over to my Patreon, link in the description, and otherwise I would just like to say that I appreciate it very much. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day.